All right. Haven't uh, posted any videos for a while. Been building this workshop. Got some videos that'll be coming out on that soon. If you remember, the chicken coop was right in this area, but we moved it over here. just made a couple upgrades to it so we have um, four chickens left from our original six that we got uh, but we added six more recently um, so I made some updates to the coop this store over here is kind of where the new chickens are going at nighttime if we put them together they kind of peck at each other and we're giving them some time to get used to each other so the the new six roost over here on this side and then over on this side we have the big ones the four original they roost up here um, so i recently just added this door to the back and then hooked up this door so i'm kind of not a big fan of opening this i want to start closing this and keeping it closed all day uh, and only opening this one we need to get in there Because when it rains, it kind of gets everything wet inside there. So I want to take this off and make the new entrance back here where I built this door. So there used to be a flap that we could open so the kids could see in there, but I just permanently screwed that on. Built a little roof here. I got some more metal like this that I'm going to put up here. just haven't done that yet. But they can come out here, and then they got this long run to get down. So just took some wood that I had from the shop. This is all treated. So, you know, there will be some rain that comes down and gets on this, but once I put the metal, it'll kind of keep the water off of this area. Um, and then these are just picket fence boards that I had cut down. Uh, and then these are just two six inch deck boards. And you can see here, I used the picket fence boards to kind of keep it together. And this is not too wobbly. When the chickens get on there, it doesn't move at all. Um, so tonight I'll let them go in through their normal door like they normally do. Over on the big side. But then I'll tomorrow I'm just going to open up that back door. Let them go out that way so they know which way to come back in. Now, I did some new strings. So this back door, there's a string that goes up to a, an eye, comes over to here, and then comes down to this one, and then goes out this hole. And then this side, for the other chicken side, it goes up to that eye by that wasp nest, comes over here, and then comes down and comes out. So on this side, once it comes out that wall, without having this door open, I can come over here and open up that chicken door to let those chickens in through here, and then open up this one to let those in through there. So I'll open this up and show you what it looks like. As this rope ages, it'll hold on here better. I just got it extra long right now just to make sure it stays open. But you just let this in and it'll close that door. So that's uh, 
that's the plan anyway so tonight when we put them up we'll close up all the doors and I'll do a little bit of filming tomorrow when I open it up and let them out see how that goes all right it's the next morning and I'm gonna test this uh, chicken door and let these chickens out So instead of opening this door, I'm going to open this door back here. You guys want to come out? so wasn't worried about getting them out but we usually leave these uh new chickens one two three four five six we usually leave them in here until about noon um just to give our other chickens some time to eat their regular food which uh i'll go get now got, well, they need some more water too